The Uncharted trilogy is one of the best action-adventure series in recent gaming history, and Uncharted The Nathan Drake Collection is the best way to play them today. These are lovingly handled remasters that bring out and enhance the beautiful art direction of the originals for the PS4, and the upgrade to 60 frames per second lends even greater fluidity to Uncharted's already excellent gameplay. The only expected feature that's missing is the multiplayer modes, but that omission doesn't stand out nearly so much as the lack of supplemental materials to celebrate Naughty Dog's excellent series. Uncharted Drake's fortune is now eight years old, but it doesn't look it. Though it certainly won't be mistaken for Uncharted 4, thanks to some slightly restricted environments and a few stiff character animations, remaster developer Bluepoint has upgraded the textures and lighting just enough so that Drake's first outing still has those wow moments that made it famous. Also, the doubled frame rate alleviates the PlayStation 3 version's slightly sluggish aiming. Even by today's standards, the original Uncharted balances gunplay, platforming, and exploration with rare grace. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves is on a whole other level, however. Even compared to games built for the PlayStation 4, the urban ruins of Uncharted 2's Nepal are absolutely double-take worthy. It's worth noting that though Bluepoint reportedly evened out the aiming mechanics for all three games, Among Thieves still feels half a step snappier than its predecessor. Amazing pacing, excellent character banter, and incredible set pieces make this the best game in the series. Finally, we have Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, the biggest, most narratively ambitious Uncharted yet. It delves deeper into Nate's past and his personal relationships, which are just as much a part of Uncharted's success as its gameplay. The remastered version's higher resolution and improved textures and character models really help complete that cinematic feel that Drake's Deception got so right the first time around. After revisiting this amazing trilogy, I was a little disappointed at the lack of supplemental materials on the disc. You won't find any character bios, concept art, or behind-the-scenes documentaries here. Though it's not a huge deal, I think Sony's flagship series deserves a bit more reverence than this package affords. Regardless, all three of these games have aged remarkably well and are still a blast to play. And whether you've played them or not, Uncharted The Nathan Drake Collection should be in your library. For more on Uncharted, stick here with IGN.